My name is Stigenbus and welcome back to another episode of We Who Are About To Die. In this episode we are starting out in quite a precarious position, where our helmet is almost destroyed, our right arm is almost destroyed, as well as our chest piece was destroyed. We do have another one over here, not as grand as our last one, but the last one was a bit of a tragic loss, alright. So we'll just try and set up a few things here, just so they can get repaired. There we go. That all looks good. We do have a bunch of cash. This character should actually be close to ascending soon. We'll have to take a look at that at some point. We do want to heal up here quite a bit. We do have the cash for it. So we'll just do it a couple of times and we'll see what kind of fights we have there shortly. Um, we definitely want to heal up, so we'll do one of them we have all the cash for it so anyway what is this a dual weapon another dual weapon two of them don't really need that in our life right now and a tabard don't really need and a polar once again don't really need how is our shield doing shield could stand to get some healing done so we'll put that on there. How is everything else doing? Left arm could do with some healing as well. So let's maybe put that down there. Not as important as the rest, that one. But it's a start in terms of fixing everything up. Even our weapon is almost destroyed. So let's see what weapon uh, fights we have first. And then decide what we want to do. There was a... 1v1 here. Usually after a massive fight, we like to take a little bit slow just to get our character back on his feet. So maybe the 1v1, it's for a large amount of money. But then again, we do have a luck of the draw here, so maybe we'll just end up doing that. Yeah, alright, we do that. Let's put this down this way. Let's swap it out for the shield sign. Put that over there. And we should be all right. By the off chance, in case we get a free item, let's put that up there. We haven't had that happen in quite some time. So that there should work. Let's do a little bit more healing since we have the cash for it. That should be fine. Do some more over here. We bought all the upgrades already for this character. And let's do the luck of the draw pit fight here. We cannot do any bets. So let's start with that. Okay, we're fighting in the stadium, yeah? Hey, I didn't think this one all the way through because we are missing a left arm armor. But as long as we grab a shield, we should be fine in that regard. And we just need to go grab some things as soon as we get in there. Definitely a sword, since we're proficient in that. Maybe use this bronze one. I don't know if it's better than the one that we originally had, but we have one now. And let's talk with this dude here and try and take him down. Okay, I'm just give him a bit of stab, and that we're there. We are a hell of a lot faster than we used to be right now, so I'm actually quite enjoying that. Not enjoying the small amount of damage that he's dealing to us, but how on earth is he blocking all of them? No worries. Just step over there, hit him in the arm, and again. All right, doing fine here so far. We'll just maneuver ourselves backwards, block over there, and okay, almost blocked. He was taking away our stamina. So let's try and shit. Twice, okay. Three times in a row. There we go. For some reason, he doesn't even have a shield anymore. It's giving us quite a run for our money, but we did manage to take him down. Let's go off to this next man over here. Give him a bit of a stab here in the back. Oh, he picks up a jug for some reason. And 
Oh no, why do we miss him? Come on. He is heavily armored. By the looks of things. Does have a axe right now. Okay, we need to go way backwards and put him where we can. Move a little bit back. And stab him. Never mind, that's not gonna work. Backwards. Okay, we're doing alright. Hit him in the head. Quite a few more people fighting around us. What happened to our ally? Did he bugger off somewhere? Not too sure. Let's get him once more. And in the face, not doing much. Shit, okay. To get a slight about, uh, bit of damage there. We should be alright, considering that we do have fairly great armor on. Regardless. It's taking a bit longer than I would have liked to take down. We are couple, making a couple of mistakes here. Locked him with our shield. He is taunting us. And that didn't really work out in our favor. Let's try and get him over here. Come on. Slight in front of damage here. He does have a spear right now. Move it backwards. Tried to toss it, but didn't. There we go. Did a small amount of damage. If you take the helmet off of his, that would be amazing. Is that our ally? No, it's not our ally, but he is attacking the enemy, so... Friends of our enemies are friend, apparently. Are we four-manning this all of a sudden? This man only has no chest piece, is what I meant to say. Let's try and take him out here. Somebody else did take the shielded man down, but after all the work I did on him, I kind of wish that I took him down. But Alistair took him down, a bit of a headshot there, took his head off. Let's do a couple of cheapy stabs here. Weapon is going to break soon, it's one that I came in with regardless. There's a shield over there. Maneuver around, grab that, I kicked it out of the way. Here's an axe, never mind, I have now... Ooh. Don't really want to... I'm not really liking the fact that the shields have physics now, because when you try to pick them, pick them up, all you're doing is kicking them around. It was in update 1 of early access, as far as I remember. Come on. Maybe this... Axe wasn't such a grand idea. Let's swap that out. Okay, we've got a sword again. It's going to be lame if we die here. But we are still looking for a fitting end for this character. As he has gone on longer than I would have actually expected him to. And never mind. We have caught the man. And we are on to the next fight. Okay. Fairly large amount of gold there. Not as much as we are used to with this character. Okay. Has everything been healed up proficiently though? Seems like it. And our shield, even our shield is all the way up. Where is our other arm over here? Why did we take that off then? Oh, it got healed up at the back there. Which we actually forgot to put in the correct position. Regardless. There is a very nice looking shield here, a godly shield, godly plate armor on the other side there. Maybe that might be useful. You know what? Let's try and get all the godly items. So we'll get this one here, put that one on, looking very nice. And then we will, I think we're going to work towards that. Not really too useful for what we have, well... With being the shield and the arm armor. But it's worth a shot. Let's first see if we have a 1v mini here before we decide what on earth we are going to do. Hmm. Level 14 1v1. 
That's for a fair amount of gold. He has another luck of the draw. Level 18. I'm thinking... Just to work towards ascending this character as well. Maybe do this fight here. Because our, our main stipulation for this run is to try and get the... 1v1, uh, sorry, 1v mini fights done. As they are none here, it's not forcing us to do them. So we'll just do this 1v1 over here. We'll get prestigious and insurance. All the good stuff. Let's purchase this over here since we have a very large amount of cash. Put that on there. Looking very nice. We are running low on the stamina regen. Let's purchase that once more. We should be fine in that regard. Move this up. Where are we sitting in terms of stamina? 92.8 over 100. I want to try and get that up as much as I can. But our stamina regen is looking horrid right now with all the gear that we have on. Which is to be expected, our rate. Considering no hu normal human would be able to walk around with such armor on. I'm actually tempted to sell that, but let's leave it for now. We need to win within a minute. Uh, sorry, five minutes. It's one of the things I betted on there, but... Let's do the 1v1 over here quickly. Okay, we are now fighting in the stadium. And we do have an entourage with us. So... It's going to be a 3v1. Damn, the shoulder's looking pretty big, though. Okay, there's a, another sword on the ground. This guy looks like he's going to be damn easy, actually. Why on earth are we fighting him? And every shot I'm taking, I'm actually missing, which... Quite embarrassing. Why on earth does this man have hardly any armor on him? Okay. I just stood there, took about 5-10 shots, and missed almost every single one of them. Took his head off uh, rather abruptly as well. That went flying. But he was heavily under-armored, all things considered. I don't know what the hell was up with that fight. Let's get more free shop rerolls. There is another 95% helmet. We could actually purchase it and sell the other one. Because then we have that amount of money. We do want a another weapon here to replace. Not replace, um, at least have a, as a backup. Is this one better than the other one that we have? Sturdy. Damage 25, damage 25. That's the exact same, so I'm not going to aim for that right now. Let's first see what kind of fights we have here against us. And many versus many, not too grand. 1v1, a pit fight, and a, another 1v1. Okay, when within 5 minutes, definitely going to do that, or able to do. Um, there's not really anybody low enough to fight for right now. Hmm, when we... We will have us now a slow week of fighting here. Pay the 400 just to heal up all the way. And then do some training. Definitely. Where are we sitting now? So I'm gonna, still 92.8, so we're not really getting too much training done there for some reason. I think we may have hit our limit there, so let's swap that stamina out for dashing. Or sh no. Our shield is basically all the way up anyway. Let's do dashing. I barely ever do that, so maybe we should start soon once that go all goes up. But our stamina regen is going to mess me around with that. Let's do the... We need to win within 5 minutes. Let's do the level 16... 
1v1 here. Just as we march ever close to this man's ascension. Not really that it matters too much, but we are wanting to get either the Slave or the Thrill Seeker. And in the second update, if I'm not mistaken, he's planning on, or the developers are planning on adding another um, backstory. So I'm hoping to get the other two done before then, but I'm not really in any rush. But as things pan out, we'll see. Here's a two-handed two man. He's not going to be any... Uh, worry to us, our rate. But he did disarm us for some reason. We'll just do a couple of hits around here. We're disarmed again. I don't know how that happened, but our weapon disappeared. I don't have any other attacks, which is kind of scary. Never mind, we are just going to end up running around now, trying to find a weapon, which we cannot find. Maybe this is the exact one. Regardless, he's going to kill him. Or I'm going to have to kill him with it. We only did two damage to him, so it's rather worrying. Come on. Stab him there. Okay, no matter what I'm doing here, I am missing. Never mind. To get him there a little bit. And once more in the elbow. Small amount of damage. I'm honestly not sure if this is my original weapon, but the amount of damage I'm doing, I'm assuming it is not. He is good at blocking, though, unless I'm just getting terrible at hitting somewhere. But if I do some overheads, I seem to be hitting those, so let's try and do a few more of those. Maybe a bit of a stab. Put that in. Got that other hit. Let's do one more stab. There we go. Okay, a rather anticlimactic fight, alright. Uh, just around the mall, nothing entertaining there. Did get our, uh, our payout. Yeah, let's get our urgent repairs there. We're not getting any legendary or godly um, weapons here. Well, swords, single-handed ones, I'm meaning. Everything is rather not grand. I do need another armor fairly soon, actually. So maybe I'll keep an eye out for that. Maybe I'll just re-roll re over there. I didn't really need to buy that. But at it anyway, as we have the large amount of cash for it. Get this many. Okay, here is the wild card. We do get an entourage for it, so it's not really in our bracket of things that we were planning for this run. But yeah, it's all good. We'll get the three kills, possibly. Get the survival of 50%. Within a minute, that's not going to happen with as many people as we are fighting. So I'm going to leave that one for now gonna kick myself if we actually do get it let's purchase four of those again i didn't even dash the last time round, i think and we are going to do a free shop reroll yeah we are actually aiming for this time round is the here is a level 85 do we have another one might as well purchase it. It's the exact same over here. Let's just see what it looks like. And... You know what? There's no point in that right now. So, I'm going to hold it. There's no point in me doing that either, I think. What I'm primarily looking for is a chest piece. In case we need to repair this last one. Let's keep going here. Chest pieces, please. Here's one. But better than what we're currently wearing, so... Let's sell this cheapy thing here. Put this on. Over there. Oh, and it's Iron Curious as well. And it does take a lot less stamina regen. But is it weak overall? I can't quite tell. 
All right, let's leave that there for now. We do have the, we do have a large amount of cash. I was going to repair this time around, but let's skip that for the time being. Let's do this wild card over here. It'll be a three versus six, I think. Yeah, six. So I think that's the most daring fight that we have here for fourteen thousand. Anyway. Have we done all our bets? 500 damage, 1 minute. You know what, I'm going to purchase that 1 minute just in case we can clutch it here. Alright, let's move forward here. Let's see what we can do. We're looking very snazzy here with all our armors on. Probably the most heavily armored that we've ever been in this run. Well, any run, I suppose. We need to win within a minute. Well, I doubt that's going to happen, considering that we are whiffing almost every shot that we have tried already. But if I can try and rush it. Let's move it backwards here. Come on. Okay. My aiming is getting terrible right now. Here we go. Let's do one more. 30 seconds have passed. We're definitely not going to win this one within a minute. But we make enough cash out of this. So the extra thousand I spent it doesn't really matter. What I want to do is take this man out before the others get to me from attacking our allies, because I would assume he would die soon. But it should be a fairly even fight right now, if I remember correctly. Three versus, what was it, six? Okay, no, it's not gonna be a fair fight. There's only one of my allies left there. And my stamina regen is absolutely shit with all this armor that I have on. So, maybe it actually works against me. Maybe this is, will be the final fitting end to this character as we move along. I think with the next challenge run, what I'll do is do all the shadow runs. They haven't been popping up as much recently, but at the very least, I want to start doing them. Just as a blind fight, if we do get a character that we've completed ready, is... Okay, I'm against three here right now. I think one of our allies is still alive, possibly. All the blocking is making me... Lose my stamina, is what I meant to say there. Honest is wanting me to switch weapons. It's not going to happen now, my friends. Not until we get some kills in here there's a man there who lost his helmet so we're gonna want to try and aim for him sort of ish maybe do a young stab over there not working at all move ourselves backwards here yeah. trying to get as much stamina as i can as well just getting some hits in here and there. It's not blocking as much as we possibly can. Just need to get this man down here. He seems to be the weakest till I lose my weapon. Okay. Let's swap over to the bronze sword over here. I think somebody actually picked up our weapon that we were using. It's very kind of them. Got a hit in there for 8.8, .8, somewhere along the line. There's a man running at us here with Arty's helmet. That man I want to kill. I think they are attacking each other, which works in my favor. Still I can dash now fairly well, I guess. Setting all my training. I'm not going to use it in time soon as I am running out of stamina quite badly. Maneuver, 
least one of them needs to go down soon, so I can actually feel like I have a bit of a fighting chance here. Yeah? Keep moving backwards. I'm still talking, man without a helmet. I think I got a small amount of damage. There we go. Okay, killed him. Do I move backwards here? Well, I don't suppose I have any other choice in this match but to move backwards. They are hitting everything. Still a four of them. I've actually been doing terrible in this fight considering that there's still four of them alive. But not much I can do about that one right now. Considering that they're barely even damaging me or damaging me, sorry. They should go down soon, I'm hoping. I think one of them did go down to team damage. Could do with a better sword if I could find one, or any other better weapon. Even a mace will do. I think my character was pretty skilled in him. The one did lose his sword there a little bit. I mean, shield. There's a sword over here. Can I grab that? Another one has died. It's gonna block here. Here's another sword. Not too sure if it's better than what I had before, but it's 108, 19 damage to me. Okay, the sword isn't too bad, but it has a, a much shorter range than what I was used to with the other one that I had. Somebody did 19 damage to me. I don't know where the hell they hit, but must have been some sort of an armored part. There we go. Uh, I'm not stressing off this fight no more, as there is only one left. So let's whittle him down. Stab him here, overhead there. Let's maneuver our way here. I know, crowd. Let's lock him, let's hit him over there once more. Come on. Maneuver, maneuver. Hit him. Okay, that's not helping at all. I'm thinking, let's swap out for this weapon. I think it's more or less the same as I had, but I'm used to this length, and we have taken him down. Okay, that's fantastic. Get the 14,000 there, got our two bed pounds. Definitely took us longer than a minute. This is tempting, but definitely the max health. Take that out up there we still cannot ascend yet we definitely want to heal up here there's a mini versus mini a 1v mini which is our stipulation for this match we're definitely gonna have to do that one we're against four let's first see what bets we have to get two kills definitely gonna happen two dismemberments we are using a sword let's get that done all right now, here is a better left or oh, right arm armor. I think it's the one that we kept beforehand. Same sort of shield. We really want, we can purchase it to keep as a backup. I think that is gonna be our next purchase. Let's do that over there, just so we can have something to work towards our Curace is almost destroyed again, as well as our helmet. I want to try and keep us. Oh shit. Even our sword. Okay. I'm wanting to try and utilize what we have now to do this 1v mini fight, as we do need as best armor as we can. Let's get as much healing done over there. I'm not going to do any training this time around, partly because we do need to get ourselves quite ready for this fight. It's a level 15, one below what we are currently. So possibly it's going to be easier. At the very least, it'll be easier than the last fight that we did. So that should be all right. I mean, the last luck of the draw here, but the one we many is what we are aiming for. Back in the Lenorian Theatre. 
and we are moving forth here to attack the four men that are unluckily put against us. There's a couple of maces around here and things and it, if they tell us our weapon is about to break, we may want to pull on our shield over there. I want to try and get as many cheapy hits in as I can right in the beginning. Hopefully take one down before the stamina regeneration uh, tactic starts of moving around. Just do as many of these hits as we possibly can. Let's get our stamina back up. They're not attacking me just yet. I am seemingly getting around them quite well. Stab him there. Stab another one there. Okay, weapon's gonna break soon, so what we're gonna do is we'll drop that, we'll pick up a mace over here and do some damage with this. Backwards. We hit him quite hard, eh? 11 damage. There's a man over here, smack him on the side of the head. Stabbing with this thing's not gonna work, so there goes another man. Death by his allies. There goes my shield. Can I pick that up, please? Yeah, pick that up all the while attacking at the same time, getting rid of all my stamina. Ooh, okay, okay. I want to hit this man here a little bit until he picks up his weapon, which he did already. This man's not too armored, so hit him a little. Block that. Maneuver our way here. Was a shot, but land the second. Whereas he attacks his ally, which works out in our favor. That did not work out, though, to me. Okay, okay. Let's do an overhead here. Hit him over the head and miss that shot. Right, we did hit get, or get a shot in there past the pillar's camera angle. Did throw a weapon at us, but missed completely. There we go. Another man taken down. Let's get some stamina back up here as we are. I was going to do an overhead, but it wouldn't let me. There we go. 8 damage. Not too grand, not too terrible. Up with 3. Come on. Shit. Didn't work out too well. Let's move ourselves back here. Yeah? It's going to be one of those slow fights again as I try and never mind. Ah, I was kind of hoping that he wouldn't pick up anything else, but perhaps there was something at hand. I'm doing, I wouldn't even say a slight amount of damage here. Yeah? All I'm doing is slightly grazing him here and there. The crowd wants us to change weapons. I don't really want to change for the same one that we had started out with so I don't know if they'll count that as card wants to spill more blood it's not gonna happen again and we got got rid of his weapon he swapped over to mace it's weird when I end up getting in these fights where it just takes so damn long I mean his helmet has stayed on much longer than what I would have expected as well. But then again, I'm not even aware if I've been hitting it for that long. 9 damage. If there's another sword around, I'd actually rather grab that. There we go. Fine, took, it, took his helmet off and let's smack him upside the head. There we go. Fine, taking him down. 
for the win. Twenty-three thousand plus two bad pounds for four thousand two hundred. That's gonna add to our thing here. Overall pool of money. Hmm, and we cannot place bets this time around. We have lost our helmet. Let's put on the other one here that we had. We did lose our weapon as well, although we dropped it, so I don't know what the hell happened there. So in other words, we do need another one. Let's check our fights first. So yeah. Level 19 wild card for 8 thou. Okay, pit fight for prestigious. A lot of it goes to our next character. Maybe we'll do that. Cannot do any bets this time around. We'll probably do a barter healing. Should be fine. We did lose a helmet in that run. We are fine regardless of everything else. Our shield's almost destroyed, so maybe we'll just put that over there. We will... Shit. Put this Curious on. We should have probably healed that other one at some point. I want to swap around, see if I can get another weapon. We roll. Two-handed sword, not going to be of use to us. Here's two new armors that we've never seen before. Left Iron Greaves. You know what? I'm going to purchase it. Don't particularly need it, but there we go. We'll sell that one. Let's reroll once more. We can do that so many times right now. We're just looking for. You know what a mace will do as well? How proficient are we at maces? Maybe we could swap over to maces as well. Yeah, let's swap over to maces. Okay, I accidentally pushed that, but that doesn't really matter. Cannot do any training, so that's fine. Let's purchase this one-handed mace. Okay, we have that on us. That is fine. We can start doing damage with that. And what we'll do is do this here, go one-handed weapons, but we can't specify what we are wanting, so we'll just do that quickly. And who are we actually missing here for the victory stipulation? Valerius. So we do need 80% more, so let's actually bribe Valerius here. Okay. We are going to... I'm going to do 20 thou for Valerius. Let's attempt. Okay, so we have gotten the victory stipulation for this character. But, I think this time around what we'll do is we'll go in for one last final fight for him, or with him. Yeah, let's do one last final fight for him. We'll do a level 19 fight here. I think we were originally going to do this one here, but it's fine. Let's just check our bets. Oh, we can't even bet. It's fine. We'll do a level 19 1v1 here. With us being a rank 19. Just as a last send-off for this character. Alright, we are now back in the Grand Stadium. One last final fight for this character. Whether he wins or loses, we shall start a next character. Most likely in the next episode by the looks of things. But something to look forward to. Hopefully it's either the slave or the thrill-seeking civilian. 
and hopefully we can have a much easier time. Okay. We are against a heavily armored man. But what he doesn't realize is so are we. We need to go backwards here. Quite possibly one of our strongest characters that we've ever had in these runs. Is the one I'm currently using. Took his helmet off. All we have to do now is aim for that head of his and he's doomed to die by our hand. And what a fitting stadium to do it in as well. Absolutely decimating this man. Took him down. What? Took his helmet. His head down. Sorry, there we go. And broke his chest piece as well as his own body. Perfect. Okay. We have taken one kill there as our final send off to this character. Now, not to make any more, no more mistakes here, so everybody gets pissed off at me. We shall. What is the victory condition? 20,000 and the 80% more. So we'll attain absolution there. But what we'll first do is. This is 75, this is 15. So the Iron Curious we'll use for the next character. We'll sell everything over here. Okay. Sell all of that, sell all this gear. As our character will now not be needing it as a free man. Let's keep going here. Okay. So he's now a free man. Let's take that slave collar off of him. Uh, if I can actually get to the... There we go. We'll take that and then we will invest. Can we invest? I think so. We'll just keep investing here to our next character. And there we go. Our next character would get 9,021. Hopefully it's either the slave as we can see here. Or the thrill seeker. Civilian. All right, he has attained his absolution. And we will start a new run here. All right, we are now doing a former soldier by the looks of things. Can we nickname this man? Okay, what some of you have suggested in the past, which I have failed to do, as I keep forgetting this is, I think this is the only place that you can do the nicknames. We will name this one after one of the guys who have kept, or one of the commenters in my videos that has stuck around for quite some time, to swag RGB. Okay, now with this character, we're most likely going to try and focus on shrouded fights, I think. Nothing right now, but we shall end up getting there sooner or later. As we work this character towards allowing us to use the slave or the thrill seeker civilian. But with the large amount of gold that we have here, there's no point in just throwing this man's life away. So on that note, I shall end this episode here and see you guys in the next one.